and welcome to the 53rd Hammer Tutorial, part of Tutorial Fest. Awesome. So today we're going to be working on cube maps. And if you don't know what a cube map does, it draws cheap reflections for reflective items. To An easy way to check if a material is reflective. When you have it selected, if you click open source, this will only work for custom textures. But the texture has to have envy map, envy cube map. That's telling it to use reflections from the nearest envy cube map. So what we're going to do is just this will be a quick tutorial on how to make cube maps. So the first thing you want to do is create an entity and then make it an NB cube map. Now typically these entities are placed they're actually they're scattered throughout the level and you want them approximately 64 heights unit heights in the air. And that's because that's where the player's viewport is. If you're drawing the reflections, if you want the reflections to be drawn for the player's standpoint, then you want it at 64. But let's say you want it for a lower item. I don't know what you would use, maybe a texture on a texture, but you'd put it lower. So 64 is pretty much rule of thumb for this. And then you scatter them throughout your level pretty much an equal distance apart. Since I have five rooms, I'll put one in the main room and one in each of the side rooms. So I have five total. And then compiling them is, it's no difference, you just compile your map. So I'm going to compile this really quick. Okay, we're just going to go into Counter-Strike really quick. It'll be a little bit laggy, but it doesn't really matter. Alright. Join up, and one thing that you might notice if you put on SV Cheats, give weapon scout. You'll notice that there are. I can probably see better with the op. On the scope in the back here, there should be reflections. But there aren't. So, this is also what cube maps will do because the gun will draw from the closest cube map. And you'll see, we really don't see much of a difference right now. But you need to open up your console and type build cube maps and press enter. Now I have HDR on, so it will fly through and get every scale of HDR for it. If you have an HDR map, you will need to, before release, you have to compile cube maps for HDR and then disable HDR and compile the cube maps again to see the changes of cube maps to see if they were effective or if they worked or not. You have to reload the game. This work, the, it's that way for Team Fortress 2, Portal, every Source Engine game because it has to reload the material catchy. Just load back up here. Alright. Alright, now we're in here. And now you might notice that on this reflective wall here, you can barely see it, but there's a reflection of the room behind me, and that's what the cube map got drawn. And if you see over here, there's the reflection of the light. And we come over into this room, and it's just, there are different colors everywhere. And now if I give myself an op, it should have, there we go. Now, if you see in the scope, there are reflections of what's around me. Those weren't there before. That's that is probably one of the main benefactors of compiling with cube maps. And if you notice, we know where the cube maps are in like Valve maps. You probably won't know, but if you use the op or a weapon with a scope, you can tell pretty easily. Because if you watch the scope as I walk into this room, I'm now closer to this cube map, so it's going to use this one instead. And that's how it works. Only one cube map can be active at a time. And whichever one you're closest to, it uses the reflections for that. And when the screen flashed, it was taking direct uh, screenshots in six directions, up, down, and or on the sides. So it could gather these images. I hope this tutorial helped you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.